hello guys welcome back to this channel if this is your first time visiting this channel don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos today i'm gonna show you a cool exercise in order for you to remember your chords on the piano so we have major chords and we have minor chords and there is a simple trick of how to find any chords on the piano even if this is your first time looking at the piano, you can play any chord as soon as you know this trick. So I'm gonna use the, the C major chord just to show you this example of how to find any chord on the piano. So first, you have to know the name of your keys. We have 12 keys on the piano, and we have seven white keys, and we have five black keys. And we see that we have sets of two and sets of three, sets of two and then sets of three. And we know behind the sets of two, this key is the key of C. So any sets of two, the white key in front of it is C. So we have C, C, we have C. So once you know how to find the key of C, and the rest is easy. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, back to C. And if I tell you to find me the chord of C major, so just write this down or memorize it. You guys are going to have to memorize the number 43. Why 43? Because to find the chord C major, you have to play the C note and you have to move four half step to play the second note and three half step to play the third note to make the chord, to make the C major chord or the C ma major triad. So this is one half step, two half steps, three half steps, four half steps. So this is the second note of the chord. And to find the third note, you have to move three half steps. So one half steps, two, three half steps. So this is the C major chord. To find the notes, it's four and three. So four half steps and then three half steps to find the notes. Let's say I wanna play the chord F. So we know C, D, E, F. So we use the same technique. So we're gonna have to count four half steps from F, which is one, two, three, four. And then three half steps. One, two, three. This is the F major chord or the F major triad. Same thing for G. This is G. So we count four half steps. One, two, three, four, and three half steps. One, two, three. So if you know all uh, the name of all the keys, all you have to do is play the note. Let's say I wanna find the uh, E major, E major chord or the E major triad. So C, D, E, this is E. Then we just count four. One, two, three, four. And we count three. One, two, three. So this is the E major chord. So E, A flat, B. Let's say I wanna find the uh, A major chord. So C, D, E, F, G, A. So this is the A key. We count four half steps. One, two, three, four and three half steps. One, two, three. And this is the A major chord. So this is how easy it is to find any chord on the piano. So remember this number, which is 43, which is for four half steps and then three half steps. So this is for the major chords. What about how to find any minor chord on the piano? C minor. It's gonna be the inverse. 
So the number you have to memorize is 34. Why 34? Because from the key of C to play C minor, we have to count three half steps. One, two, three, and then four half steps. One, two, three, four. This is C minor. So the difference between the major and minor, again, it's the number 43, because we have to count four half steps from C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So four half steps, then three half steps. For the minor chord, for the C minor, it's three half steps. One, two, three. And then four half steps. One, two, three, four. So let's see if I wanted to play the F minor chord. So this is F, we count three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four. So once again, the trick is, if you wanna play any major chord, the number is 43. So you find a key and you count four half steps, and then three half steps. And for the minor chords, it's 34. So you count three half steps and then four half steps. So let's say if I wanted to find G minor. So C, D, E, F, G. So we know for minor, it's 34. So which is, we count three half steps. So one, two, three, and then four half steps. One, two, three, four. So, this is G minor. So just to recap, for any major chords, it's 43, which is four half steps and then three half steps. For any minor chords, it's 34. So three half steps and then four half steps. So I hope you guys did find this video very uh, useful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And also hit the notification bell for any upcoming videos. And if you guys have any, any techniques, uh, you can share it in the comments as well. And also share this video for any beginners that's trying to play chords on the piano. So with this technique, you can play any chords right away. I'll see you guys in the next video.